All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cool Goal Stories Video One. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, some of the, I guess, a small part of goal rules uh, as to how to make a draw uh, in the game of Go. You know, if you're a chess player or uh, I don't know if you're a chess player or any, you know, a lot of board games have like draws. Uh, you can just there's no winner, there's no loser, there's like draws and stuff, but it doesn't happen that often in the game of Go. Uh, in fact, I'd say I'd say pretty much 99.9% of games are not draws. They're like you win by 0 0.5, but that's a win, you know. Uh, but there are actually draws in the game of Go, uh, and I'm pretty sure some of you already heard of it. Uh, things like triple Go uh, and stuff like that. But today I will uh, give you a complete list of situations where draws can happen in the game of Go. So let's look at uh, the first situation that is um, triple or more than triple Go. So um, sometimes like triple Go is enough to make a draw. Uh, however, if you do a quadruple draw, a uh, quadruple uh, Co or even five Co's or something like that, um, it's it can also lead to draw. So there's actually a real game that is played uh, between Guli and Lee Sado in 2012. So let's look at the board. Last move, Lee Sado decide to uh, go in and destroy Black's uh, ice space. And now we have basically a liberty fight uh, with a lot of codes. Uh, and now let's examine uh, how this is going to play out. Guli takes the code, that looks very normal. And then Lee Sado uh, takes a code from behind. Guli takes another code. This is an Atari. Uh, and uh, Lee Sado is forced to take the code back. And then we take the code. And, uh, and here, uh, basically, uh, basically there, there are a lot of ways that game can keep going. So why can start taking from here? Uh, in which case, Black will just take whatever code that is, you know, he can take. And then this thing will go on forever, so I can keep going for a couple more moves. Uh, this will just, you know, keep going. Uh, it doesn't matter, like, if you take this one, I'll take this one. Uh, so first, let's look at how can how can White try to or, or make an attempt to get rid of the code. So let's say if White uh, connects here. Right, and then he says, "You know what? I don't want to, I don't want to play this uh, co anymore." But Guli, as black, he's just gonna squeeze liberty. Now white is gonna ha only have one liberty, so he's forced to take one of these co's. And really, it doesn't matter which one he takes. Let's say he takes this one. Guli cannot get rid of the co. If you get rid of co, you'll get rid of yourself, basically. So that cannot happen. Uh, which means. Guli is forced to basically uh, take this code. If Guli plays somewhere else, uh, Lee Sado can connect this code. And then Black is dead, actually. So if you take this one, uh, I will uh, take this one back. Um, and this is, well, actually, is, is Guli dead here? Uh, so let's say Guli plays somewhere else. Uh, this is this is really weird, actually. So, if white takes this one, black will take this one, and then white take this one, black will take. So this is a triple co, actually. Uh, this is also a draw, right? This will keep going forever. Like I can just keep taking this forever and ever. Uh, this game is not going to end. Which means that, uh, really. Is that at this point? Is at this point uh, when Guli takes this code? Uh, doesn't matter if Lee connects or not. It's still gonna be a draw. So, um, <clears throat> so, so basically, there's no way for for either player to get rid of this quadruple uh, code situation. Uh, therefore, the game is gonna be a draw. Uh, and then it actually happened. So uh, back then, uh, they had to rematch. So Lee Sado against uh, Guli, they had to rematch. And uh, this is the draw, and they had another game, basically. And this is a very famous case of a draw uh, in the game of Go. And there, there are many uh, 
Well, there are not many, but there are a few instances of draws in, in the history uh, of Go games, professional Go games. Uh, this is not the only one. Uh, there, there are some more uh, situations uh, like this. But this is very, very rare in the game of Go. So that is our number one case for a draw. Uh, and I'm pretty sure a lot of viewers have already um, heard of uh, this type of draws. But there are actually two more ways that you can draw, so this is very exciting. So I'm going to present you the second way uh, that a game can be drawn. Uh, so let's now look at the board. So it's uh, White's turn to play. So what happens in the corner is that if White does not play anything... Sorry, uh, why am I in this mode? Right, so basically it's White's turn to play. Uh, if white does not play anything, uh, black will connect here. So this is a seki inside. If if black if white blocks here, uh, <coughs> this is a seki, right? Basically, basically black cannot fill in. If you fill in, I can capture you. Um, if you fill in here, well, that's just kind of useless, right? You spend a move and you got back. You got to the original position. So. So yeah, at this point, if black connects here, black is able to live uh, as a seki. Uh, so for white to kill this group, white will uh, throw in here. So locally, it looks like um, it really looks like uh, black does not have an eye, uh, only has one eye. If black goes in, white will capture everything, and then uh, so that's not going to work. If black takes this stone white will uh, make a bulky five shape uh, when black takes white will go in and i'm pretty sure uh, most of my viewers know that this is a dead shape for black so black is a clean dead inside however at this point uh, black has a tsuji uh, that is to actually throw in at t17 it's actually very hard to discover but it's a very good tsuji to save the corner so white cannot go to t19 that's an illegal move uh, white's only move is to take the two stone back and black will obviously have to take these two stones back as well and we're back to the original position so white has to throw in again if he wants to kill black will have to throw in when black when white takes black will take back and we're back to the original position so this repetition will go on and on forever uh, and if if both sides decide to uh, keep playing uh, in this uh, in this corner, it's gonna be a draw. Uh, if White thinks he's uh, he's leading by a lot, he can go ahead and start playing somewhere else and let Black live. Uh, so this is this is a way to not draw. But if both players thinks, oh well, the points are really important here. Like whatever happens in this corner matters uh, for you know for the result of this game then both player can decide to keep playing here forever and then this is going to be a draw. Uh, so that's the second way that you can make a draw in a game of Go. Uh, so if you're ever able to make this uh, draw in your game, uh, let me know because I, I've never seen one in my life. Uh, it's just so rare. Uh, it's even, I'd say it's, it's even more rare than uh, Triple Go. Um, so yeah, if you if you find a game with a with a situation like this, so by the way, this is called Eternal Life, right? The situation is called Eternal Life, uh, and it's a draw situation. So if you ever find a game like this, please let me know. Comment below the video, uh, and uh, I'll definitely reach out to you. I mean, I've never seen something like this in my life. All right, so that's the uh, that's the second way. Uh, eternal life so we talk about triple go we talk about eternal life and there's one uh, very very uh, pretty much it's only theoretical uh, you know situation it's it's probably never it's never gonna happen in a real game uh, that is uh, a situation like this uh, I don't have a name for it so if you do have a name for this kind of situation uh, you can also comment below the video and let me know what is it called in English Okay, so uh, so in Chinese it has a name. It's called Shuangti Arzi. Uh, 
but uh, in English, I have no idea like what it's called. Like, I can't find it anywhere. So if you're able to find the English name for me, I'll really thank you for that. All right. So let's see how how come this is a draw, right? It looks like a looks like a seki. Uh, so if black plays first, black will throw in here uh, to take away white's liberty. White cannot take because if you take, black will uh, go ahead and kill you. So. Uh, white will be killed like this. So when black throws in, white's only defense is to throw in at R18 as a counterattack. And black will take the two stones, and white takes the two stones. Black throws in. For the same reason, white cannot take. White has to throw in. Black takes. White takes. Black throws in. White throws in. Take. Take. And then this is also uh, an eternal uh, situation. Like uh, this cannot keep going forever. I mean, uh, yeah, people like players have to uh, draw here uh, if this keeps going forever. So uh, it happens in some uh, rules. Uh, in some rule set, uh, this is not allowed to happen because there's some rule set that says the same uh, board situation cannot happen twice. Uh, in which case, um, well, in which case, uh, black will uh, basically, so black has a, a way to actually make a seki, which is to take here. And then when white takes, this is a seki. Uh, but since black plays first, black, black, has, uh, black has the decision power. So he can say, hey, I want to, you know, I want to, uh, I want to go for a draw because the outside is not doing too well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this a draw. Uh, black can also play outside and uh, leave that choice to white. So now white can uh, go ahead and go for a draw. So white can throw in, black will throw in, and then take, take. Uh, this is also eternal repetitions. Uh, and this is going to be uh, a draw. So I personally, I'm not 100% uh, familiar with, uh, with this type of draws uh, in terms of which uh, which rule set is is a draw in which I don't know if Japanese rule says it's a draw or Chinese rule says it's a draw or Korean rule says it's not a draw or something like that. Uh, not too familiar uh, with that. Uh, I just know in a rule set where uh, where you know it cannot allow uh, the same board position uh, repeating itself, uh, then uh, one of the side has to has to go for a seki basically. Uh, so now let's say it's white's turn. Uh, white can throw in, uh, and when black throws in, white can take. So white is forced to take in some rules, right? Forcing black to take and make a, make a seki. Uh, but in some rules, uh, you can keep going. You can take, take, uh, throw in, throw in, take, uh, sorry, and take, take. And then this will go on forever and ever. Uh, and then in some rules, uh, if you're not doing too well, some rules will allow you to draw, which is really lucky. Uh, but but I mean, this type of situation, really, I've never seen it uh, in any games. Um, and uh, it's just very, very impossible uh, to have it on the board, to be honest. Uh, so these are three types of ways that you can draw in conclusion. Uh, so, I mean, before, when I was about... 3 down, 4 down, I didn't even know. I just knew that triple code was a draw, but now I have a complete, complete list of uh, you know, the draw situations in the game of Go, which is I find really, really interesting uh, to start with this uh, from a really cool um, new <laughs> series called Cool Go Stories. So this is our story for today. Uh, so feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, uh, you can comment below the video. Uh, and you find the names for uh, for the third situation, you can also comment below the video and let me know. All right, so for now, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. Talk to you guys next time.